Hi, it's T with T Quotes, and I am working on a project for a graduation gift. Actually, this student does not graduate until next year, but I wanted to get it to him and his parents early so that they could plan his room for college, and they wouldn't be waiting around for the coloring. He requested a Mizzou Tigers quilt, and after I had it on my frame, I decided that I'd better add his name into this quilt because I didn't want anyone to steal it from him. And so I just took my gold die. I have the alphabet die. And so I cut the letters of his name out. And here I am just showing you how I am using a method called Herky Jerky Zigzag to stitch it down to make sure that it holds. And I'm just going to speed it up a little bit because I don't want you to watch me go around here very slow. But I thought it was very important to try to put something in the quilt that the average kid wouldn't want now that somebody's name is in it. Although Ryan is more of a common name. But I still wanted to give him some kind of protection. So once I get it all stitched out, I'll let you see the name a little bit more and the quilting that I used on this is my panto that I've shown you in various videos it's called herringbone and I really love it for this style of quilts as well as t-shirt quilts it gives it enough definition but it's not over quilted so I brought the Mizzou quilt outside and of course, as soon as I come outside, one of my neighbors decide to cut their lawn. It's a very breezy day, as you can see here by the quilt moving. But I just wanted to show you the quilt. I used my herringbone panto on it. And then I had this striped fabric that I actually purchased when I was in Atlanta, along with this fabric and this one. So I wanted to include some fabrics that were from that I purchased in Atlanta because this quilt is going to a friend's son who is graduating from high school and this may perhaps be his college quilt although I'm not sure if his mom's going to let him come to Mizzou to go to college but I will end the video here and I will see you next time and thank you for watching bye bye